All right. What we're going to do today is what I teased the other day, one day last week, about doing an unboxing. Usually people do unboxings of things they've ordered online and saying, oh, look how wonderful this thing is, yay, or oh my gosh, this is not what I thought it would be. Um, but what I wanted to do was, uh, I found these lids, these are home canning jar lids, flats, some people call them, at um, Tractor Supply. They're called Country Classics. These are regular mouth, but I did buy wide mouths as well. And I've never tried these before. I've used Ball, I've used um, Golden Harvest, I've used Pure. I think there's one, I think there's one of the other ones that I've used. I can't remember, oh, Orchard Road. So, Orchard Road, you can't get anymore. Unfortunately, those were some awesome charts. I mean, when they ping, they didn't ping, they exploded. Pow! You knew those lids sealed. They were great. When that little, it was pow, it was great. But um, I'm hearing more and more people and seeing a lot of the folks that I follow online, ladies mostly, but men too, who are saying that the ball lids are not as good as they used to be since the worldwide catastrophe of 2019. And some folks are not using them because they felt that Ball did not step up to the plate when more and more people were trying to home can during that disastrous infection that traveled the world. Um, and so they, um, where they had once been loyal, now they're not, not anymore. And there is a company called Four Jars that a lot of those folks are using. I have not seen Four Jars in any of my local stores. Um, I, I'm not yet gonna order them, although I could, it really wouldn't hurt me to, but uh, I'm not gonna yet order them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy from my local stores as much as I can. But today I thought we would try, we would compare the country, Country Classics, Ball, and Golden Harvest. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a lot of folks who just are really down about Golden Harvest because they find them at the um, lower end stores like Dollar General. I, I, I don't care as long as they don't poison me and they see all my food. Um, it doesn't matter what store carries them to me. A lot of folks will say, oh, the Golden Harvest jars are great, but the lids are not. I, I don't know. I've had, I've had about the same luck with them as in the other ones. And I know that, um, that these things got scarce. A lot of the, the canning supplies got scarce uh, during the two-year worldwide episode, uh, partially because of supply chain partially because of limited supply of raw materials. These lids aren't made out of air. I mean, they need tin. They, uh, well, I don't know if it's tin. I guess it's tin or aluminum. I don't think they tell you, but anyways. The, the raw materials for these weren't around. And you started seeing that when you started, the rest of the world started seeing it when you started noticing that uh, soft drinks were in bottles, plastic bottles and not cans because there was a loon of shortage. So that's part of the reason. Um, and you know, when, when you, you've got such a medical crisis going across the globe and people aren't allowed to work, different states are shutting down, some mayors are shutting down and other mayors are not and states are not and this community is, just the confusion, it's no wonder. So I'm not gonna throw away I'm not so brand loyal anyway, but I'm not gonna throw away um, perfectly good ball lids and I'm not gonna not purchase them if this is all that's available. But enough of that, let's get on with um, unboxing. So I'm gonna start first with ball. Since ball has been the traditional standard for so long, just regular ball lids here. Can you see that right there? Uh, regular sized, regular mouth jars, sure tight lid, seals up to 18 months. You know, usually they go a little longer than that, but when you get them to do it. 
This has instructions, prepare your lids. Lids are for one time use only. I've used them more than once, but not on. I didn't take them off of like meats and then use them again on meats. What I've done is I've either used them for dry storage, uh, pastas and flours and greens and things like that uh, with a vacuum seal, or I've used them with water. I will balance out a canner load with jars of water so that you have some sterile water. Never hurts anyway. Wash the lids in hot soapy water. Rinse well, set lids aside until you're ready to use. And that's to clear off any contaminants that may be uh, on the lids from the processing. Um, after processing all our jars, to cool 12 to 24 hours before checking the seal. Press the center of the lid. The lid should not flex, so you shouldn't be able to go tink tink. When pressed, store sealed jars in the pantry for up to 18 months. And a lot of folks get a lot longer than that with a solid seal on. That's the official instructions. But I'm gonna tell you if, you, if you have a jar and you think it's sealed and you press the center of it, it goes click, but it doesn't pop back up, it's still a bad seal, that stuff needs to go in the refrigerator and be used right away. Now, golden harvest, just regular standard traditional golden harvest lids. Made in the USA. Rubbermaid Incorporated, Newell Corporation, fits regular mouth golden harvest jars. Use a fresh lid every time to ensure your jars seal properly, safely preserving your food. After the first use, the lid will no longer seal effectively. Wash before use. Golden Harvest Closures, which means these lids. Seal when used with USDA home canning techniques. So all they tell you with Golden Harvest is just to wash. They don't say hot soapy water, but why would you wash them in cold, not soapy water? Country Classics, 12 lids, bands not included. Gossie Incorporated Salon, Ohio, made in China. CountryClassicsCanning.com. 12 lids, 12 lids, 12 lids. There are no instructions on the outside of the box. It doesn't tell you to wash them. It doesn't tell you not to wash them. It doesn't tell you to use hot soapy water. It doesn't tell you not to use hot soapy water. Back in my day, I guess it's still kind of my day. You you dip them in hot or, or simmering water for like 10 seconds to, um, to uh, soften the seal a little bit before you put it on the jar and then put the ring on. But none of these say this. All right. So back to the vo uh, ball lids. The box does not have any perforation that I can see. You just break the seal like that. Looks like three little glue dots right across there. 12 lid sack. These are, let me see, can I get you? I don't think I can make you see. You might be able to see down along here. Our hash marks for the date. No, you can see that down along there. The lid on the bottom has a little bit of overspray or overseal right there. If you can see that or not, Ooh, I'm just all over the place. Is that a deal, deal killer? No. The next one has a little small amount of overseal there. And it's just a little small. This one has a little dot there. 
just a little tiny. It's not in the way of where the seal would touch the glass lip of the jar. This one has a little bit there. This one does not, although it does have a small little mist spot right there. It's got a little notch in it that I don't think that would affect it either. This one's good. This one's good, that's two. This one's good, that's three. This one has a little notch in it as well. This one's good, that's four. This one's good, that's five. And this one has a little tiny bit of overspray on it, or slop on it. So out of this 12, there were five that were absolutely clean. I don't think any of the little slobbers of uh, the seal uh, is gonna affect, it's not gonna be where um, the, um, the lid of the, of the jar, glass uh, canning jar touches the seal. And even the spot with the little notch is not so deep that I think it's gonna affect that seal. So now the golden harvest lids. They don't have any perforations on them either. So I keep putting it down below where you can't see. All right. It had one blob of glue right there across the top. And these are, they have no writing on them at all. They're just a gold tone lid. And I can already tell you we have an issue. The very bottom lid has, <coughs> it doesn't, have, no, it hit my table. It didn't, wouldn't have done it. Has a very significant dent. Significant enough. It's right there on the lip that I would not use this one. So automatically Golden Harvest has one bad one. The next one, I don't see any over, uh, uh, slop of uh, seal. I don't see any slop of the seal. I don't see any slop of the seal. No more dents so far. That uh, dent could have been caused by the store. It could have been caused by the machinery when it was being packed. This one, I'm going to take out a play because I'd never be able to get you to see it, but the, this seal material is across the edge of the lip here. So I'm gonna take it out of play um, because I don't, I personally don't think that seal should be over across the edge of the lip there. Now I may be wrong, it may not hurt a thing. This one is fine. This one has a few little splotchy spots of sloppy sealant. This one's fine. This one's fine. The lighting in here is a nightmare, plus my eyes are so old. This one's fine. And this one's fine. So out of the dozen Golden Harvest, uh, I pulled two completely out. One for a significant dent. Of course, it was the very last one. And one for having the sealant over across and outside of the, uh, the lid, the edge of the lid. So now the Country Classics. And it actually has a tab and groove kind of thing going on here. I bet they changed that after a while. Makes it handy though for resealing this box if I don't use all the lids, because I mean, today I'm only gonna use a couple and I will uh, 
I'll seal it back. The challenge to get it open, which might be a good thing. Okay, very similar to the ball jar lids. These country classics, they say country classics across the top and they have the dash and hash uh, forward slash marks to, to put the date on there. Now, sometimes I use those, sometimes I don't. I actually will write on these with a Sharpie and believe it or not, you can write on these before you put them on the jar or just after you put them on the jar and they'll go through the pressure canning process and they won't come off. And then if you reuse them like I do for just for water or dry storage or something, if they're not damaged when I open them up, open the jar of food up, um, you can wipe that off with alcohol. So the, you should wipe the Sharpie off with alcohol. So the, the very end lid is sweet. Um, no, it's not dented. I don't see any sloppiness on the seal and I don't see any weird spots in the seal. So that's one. I think they might be a little lighter though. Two is good. Three is good. Four is good. Is this impressive. Five is good. Six is good. Seven is good. Wow. Eight is good. I mean, they're all really nice and clean. There's no overspray or however that sealant's put on there. Ten is good. Eleven and twelve. All 12 of them appear to be fine. So out of my first dozen uh, ever, just off the shelf from uh, Tractor Supply, they look good. There's no overspray, there's no dents, there's no odd little moon shapes in the seal like there was in the Golden Harvest. These are nice. I wonder. I, I may weigh these. Um, I have a food scale, it goes pretty lightweight. Um, I may weigh these and see if there's a difference in the weight. Because I swear, I think those feel lighter. Yeah, I'll weigh them. Um, should I weigh all 12 of them? That's probably better. Even though there's those two uh, golden harvests I'm gonna use, I'll weigh them all, all 12 of each of them. That'd probably be a more accurate weight anyhow and uh, I'll tell you what I come up with how's that all right so here in just a minute <laughs> if I can ever get the box closed back well certainly I'm having a time getting it over that oh shoot who cares anyway all right <laughs> we'll go to the next part here in just a minute see you there Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to weigh these real quick. Uh, we talked about uh, weighing these lids to see how much they uh, they actually are and if they all weigh within relative amount of the same. Um, I have a, a small food scale here uh, that I use to weigh, obviously, food. Mostly things when I'm making sourdough. And I have it set for pounds and ounces. And these are our ball lids. So it's all 12 ball lids and they weigh 2.6 ounces. All right, now remember all of the ball lids were good. A little bit of overspray, but they were still good. Now these are the golden harvest lids. And they also weigh 2.6 for all 12 of them. Now we're not going to use all 12, but. And the Country Classics. Ah, come out of there. They feel lighter, I don't know. 
Wow, 2.5. That's crazy. One-tenth of an ounce less. 